everyone, this is Surbi here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you to all my subscribers who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for motivating me and inspiring me. And I would also like to thank all my viewers who are watching my videos right now. Now, today's painting is going to be my field of flowers. And I love creating this painting. So in this painting, I'm going to be using two base colors. The bottom part is going to be my ultramarine blue, which I've uh, uh, mixed with a little bit of Prussian blue to give it a different, darker, uh, beautiful shade. And on the top part, three-fourth part, I'm going to be using my white paint, base paint. And I'm going to be using beautiful colors, which I'm going to be uh, putting in the description below. So do watch out for them, the different colors that I've used for this painting. And all the paints that I'm using today, that I've used today, are mixed with two parts of Floatron, one part of water and one part of paint to get the desired consistency. Which it is, it's a bit like Dutch pour, but it's not Dutch pour because the paints are a little bit thicker than uh, Dutch pour. So I hope you like this painting. Uh, do give, leave some comments for me, give me a like, or if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel and uh, let's paint. Okay, so as you can see, I have base coated my canvas. Lower part is ultramarine blue mixed with a little bit of Prussian blue, and the top part is titanium white, uh, which is mixed with Floatrol and water. So all the paints are mixed with Floatrol and water. So I'm going to start layering my paints on top of each other this way. I'm going to start with my light blue squiggly lines like that come on the sides as well like so and other colors other blues Violet. Some lines can go up as, as, well, as well, like that. I'm going to add this lovely green. This is the iridescent green with a beautiful shimmer and a shine. to have my red and my orange on the top in the flowers not right here because it might uh, go a little bit muddy so I'm going to have red purple and these lovely blues and maybe some yellows as well or actually I'm going to have all the different uh, flowers so let's start to to start blowing first if I see maybe I think I should pop the bubbles first because I can already see some bubbles and if I don't pop them now I'm going to use my heat gun then I might have um, some cavities <laughs> Okay, I love this, this part here, the lovely green. Thank you. 
So that's the, the bottom bit. Just going to use my heat gun to get some cells. my sleeves Already looks amazing so now this is the base of the, the painting and I'm going to start adding my flowers so at the same time I'm going to see if, if some areas need some definition I'm going to start adding that as well. So let's start to try to add my the reds first. Let's move on to the reds first. space for the orange there Thank you. 
Two more flowers left there. This one, I think I need to improve a bit. Okay, so now if you want to add some more flowers, you could do, but I think I might add a little bit of the stems. Before that, let's torch it a little bit more. My Just want a little bit of stems, not not quite not a lot.
comments for me if you think this is nice. And also please uh, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me, motivates me. And I'll see you next time. And I'm going to share the dry results with you as well. Look at this, it's beautiful. I'm so impressed with this one. I love the amazing colors, the vibrant colors. It's still wet, but once it's dried, I'm sure, and I really, really hope it turns out really nice. So I hope you like it. Thank you once again for watching. Bye now. Hi everyone. So this is the dried result of this beautiful painting. I love the colors. So nice and bright. Wow. Really amazed with this one. And I'm so happy. And the green has given a bit of shimmer and shine as well. Just wanted to see how it turns out when I'm going to varnish this one. So really, really happy. So pleased. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.